these are the most expensive violin strings in the world. In the world. See, I can't do it. I wanted to be really cool and be like Jeremy Clarkson, but I don't have a British accent to do that. These are the most expensive violin strings in the world. These are made by Larson, specifically the Il Canone Violin Gold Strings. Now, how much you ask? For a beautiful price of $426 for this entire set, you're gonna have a lot of string. Definitely these are the most expensive strings. These are the most expensive tree compared to the Damascus Dynamo, compared to the Pirastro Passione Solo set, compared to the Pirastro Olive set. These are definitely really high up there. And in the next month to two months, I'm going to be extensively reviewing these violin strings because, you know, I am for the people. I want to get the answers to your burning questions with these strings. And, you know, you may have questions, but I believe I have some answers. So let's get right to it. The purpose of this video is to do an unboxing. Just my first reaction, my observations of the packaging. Um, I'm gonna do a an initial sound test in this video. So I'm gonna be reacting to how the violin strings sound on my violin and go from there. Let's talk about how I was able to get a set of these strings. Um, first of all, I wanna thank the Larsen brand in Denmark for sending me this set. Originally, these strings were not on my radar at all. They, they kind of had like a really soft release and they were not supposed to be advertised or marketed in such a heavy way. But I think they've succeeded because it's word of mouth marketing and this is definitely going to have people talking. This is not a video sponsored by Larson, so all opinions are gonna be my own and I wanna create an honest and fair review of these strings no matter how they sound. Speaking of sound, the, the people at Larson warned me that they may not fit best on my violin and specifically they might fit better for older antique instruments. That was where the, the string idea came to mind. So, but I'm gonna dedicate a separate video to that, but we're gonna kind of dive right in to the unboxing and what my thoughts are. Okay, so let's get started. So this box, a lot bigger packaging for one, you know, this is definitely a lot bigger than a traditional string package. By the way, Larson was gracious enough to send me a extra set. This is specifically for my violin. This, uh, they wanted to send it to me because they just wanted to see what I thought about it. Um, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I'm going to be doing a full review on these strings, the Il Canone Violin Soloist. But this is going to be at a later date in a few months, actually. So I'm going to put that to the side here. So, okay, let's talk about this packaging for one. We have some interesting design elements and we also have some interesting color choices. So we have black and gold. You kind of see this in the Eva Parazzi a gold set where you have a lot of black and gold kind of gives us this very luxurious feeling but i want to point out that there is the fibonacci sequence in the design of this packaging and for me the fibonacci sequence is the golden ratio the very famous golden ratio that's used in nature that's also used in music uh, and also, you, you can argue that the Fibonacci sequence is actually used to create the design of our violin. So I feel like this is pretty fitting in terms of the design and I guess the, the message which they want to have uh, put across with these strings. On the back here, we have the different types of strings, the, the E, A, D, and G string. And we also have red and gold as the wiring for these strings. Uh, and then just some other observations. It says made in Denmark by Larsen Strings. But most importantly, we have dedicated to the artist. Not made for artists, but dedicated to the artist. It almost reminds me of when you have a composer dedicating a piece for you. And it's kind of like Larsen dedicating a piece for us, dedicating the strings to the artist. And I think that is a nice touch. It makes me really feel appreciated when, oh, Larson Strings has really thought of me 
in terms of the sound. Okay, so this is the, I haven't opened this since I received this in the mail. So you have, I think that I mean, we have this tape here. I'm gonna slide the tape off. There's tape on both sides. And then I'm going to slide it out here. So I'm gonna put that over here. And again, a much bigger box. This really feels like an event. Uh, okay, we have this little pamphlet. Il Canone of Violin. Go thank you for choosing the ultimate in violin strings. Explore our knowledge base to optimize your experience. Made with love and passion. Thanks, Larson. So right over here, you know, let me let me put this back in because I want you guys to see this. So I'm gonna zoom in in the edit. But you actually have to take this red tape, or not red tape, but this red ribbon. Out. That's a kind of a nice luxurious feel and the the ribbon feels nice nice and silky gives it a luxurious feeling and we have Four strings pretty cool and We haven't really uh, talked about the 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 sound color yet of, of these strings Larson is saying that this is mostly on this on the focused side of this of their sound spectrum with a little bit of warmth so to their chart I'll, I'll post it up on the screen here it's towards the right and a little bit lower uh much more focused and much warmer than the il canone solos which i just showed you guys a moment ago but we have the e we have the a the d and the g strings they look really cool the paper by the by the way it feels like a really good box doesn't feel cheap, uh, so that's that's really nice. And then you you have this QR code over here, which you can find out more information on their website. Which I, it's nothing more different than what I just told you. And over here we have this little label, Larson. I think I have some friends who plan on Larson's, and this is kind of their um, this is kind of their signature piece. And you rip the string open with this with this tab here. So you would kind of rip it open this way, and then it comes in this plastic, which is recyclable. So you can you can know that you are purchasing a product which with with uh, recycling in mind. And I'm just gonna open all of these over here. Great, so we got all the strings out. Larson's claim is that this is the first string set in the world that has a gold D string. Yes, you heard that right, a gold D string. You find gold G strings on the violin. Gold G strings usually create warmth. Gold strings in general, like gold E strings, you find pretty common. Uh, the problem with gold E strings though is that they kind of squeak, so it's not always a preferable choice amongst violinists but they do make them and you have D strings that are either silver or aluminum, but you never see them in gold, which I'm really curious about. I'm gonna open this D string up and it does look gold. You can maybe see it a little bit here, but it is indeed a gold string. Let me try to bring it closer. It is a gold G string. And we have the the wiring here, which is gold and red. I think that's what it says, gold and red on the back. Red and gold, yeah. So yeah, I, that is correct. So you have this, which looks really good. And we also have the wiring on the top as well. And then we also have the gold G-string and then the A, and then the E, of course. As I said, th these are all recyclable bags and packaging, so you can feel good about, you know, throwing these in, in your local recycling system. And now the big question, how do they sound? The strings are on, I'm going to try the most expensive violin strings on the market 
here are the first sounds. Oh, that's really out of tune. Okay, let me let me tune this up. Well, they're loud strings. That's for certain. They are really loud under your ear. Something I'm noticing right off the bat is the gold D string. You know, when I'm playing, it's so weird how two of, two of my strings are gold and two of my strings are of a silver color. That's never happened to me before. I've never, in the history of me playing the violin, have seen a gold D string. And today, in my 25 plus years of playing the violin, it's a first for me. This is an actual first. So right off the bat, some observations that I would not, uh, these, the tuning stability is uh, probably because of the material. It, it may take maybe more than 24 hours to get them really settled in. Usually that's the no, the F, sorry, the C. And then I hear a little bit of a wolf. Wow, one thing I'm noticing are the overtones. The overtones are super resonant on this violin. You might hear it on, on the mic that I have right here. Wow, the red, the overtones are quite something. Normally it's really difficult to get those notes to speak up here, especially the A. Wow, that's, that's really impressive. Nice warm sound. Now, I have all sorts of different rosins in my disposal. I'm going to try them out to see what is the best sounding uh, rosin. But right off the bat, I'm using a Baker's rosin, uh, a Baker's Crisp, and not a Baker's Crisp, no, the Baker's uh, Viome rosin, which is a little crisper. Uh, Leatherwood, they make a crisp violin rosin. But right off the bat, <laughs> really getting the focus that I want, uh, but they are getting out of tune. Let's see how they sound with a little bit of his eye.
now they're very they're fast yeah they're quick what do you think of these strings do they sound good do they sound like they're 426 dollars what do you think leave a comment down below now mind you i'm going to be doing a lot more violent tutorial videos with these strings on so you're going to hear me you know really break these strings in but let me know in the comments section and if you are new to the channel welcome my name is eric i'm a violinist i do violin tutorials and product reviews thanks for joining us in this community hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification so that way you get notified for when new videos come out thanks so much and i'll see you in the next video